Over the years, most people have been buying PlayStation for only one reason and that is to play exclusive titles. But what happens if these exclusive games start coming to PC? Well, of course, they will go to social media and complain about it. I spent my hard earned money into buying PlayStation and its games and now they're getting into PC? So unfair! Guess what? Everybody spends money in buying a PlayStation or a PC or a video game. You're not the only one, dude. But why is PlayStation bringing these exclusive games to PC? What happened now? That is the biggest question. Everybody knows that Sony earns money from PlayStation only or mostly because of their exclusive titles. But then there are some people like me who have a shit PC and they have to buy PlayStation so that they can play these new games. Regardless, PlayStation has various exclusive titles from God of War to Last of Us to Uncharted to Spider-Man to Ghost of Tsushima and many more and more are also coming in the future. But now Sony decided to allow games like Horizon Zero Dawn to release on PC and now the very latest, Days Gone, to come to PC. Well, Sony of course isn't stupid that they're doing this. There's definitely some kind of strategy, some kind of a business model behind because of which they're doing this very thing right here. Let's take an example of GTA 5. GTA 5 came back in 2013, but it first came into PlayStation 3 and Xbox and not on PC. And after two years, on 2015 is when the game came out on PC. People literally had to wait and complain the fact that the game is not coming on PC and after two years, it did come to PC. The same also go to Red Dead Redemption 2, which actually came on PlayStation 4 first and then came on PC later. So if you're thinking right now that buying a PlayStation is a waste of money, well no, not really. Sony will still release some exclusive games to the top PlayStation and then, then later on if they want to, release it on PC at least after 2 years of time. The reason why they're releasing these games to PC is because their main strategy is that they want people to know about these Sony exclusive games. These games that are made by these amazing studios so that maybe one day they might even buy a PlayStation themselves. Otherwise, they have to wait for a few years for that particular game to come out. And we don't even know if that game is going to be coming out on PC because we still don't have a particular list of games that is coming to PC for sure. We still are speculating at this point what are the next future games coming to PC from PlayStation. Not only that, a report came out last year that Sony has decided to bring more first party titles to PC. Now what are those games we don't know at the very moment but their main focus is still at the moment PlayStation 5 and bringing more games into that platforms. Now as I said before, bringing these PlayStation 4 games to PC will not only give more eyes to this game but also if there is a sequel, for example Horizon Forbidden West which will be coming to PlayStation 5, well it will be exclusive to that platform so maybe later on people might even invest in PlayStation 5 or let's say even PlayStation 4 if they wanted to. Surely, at the moment, you cannot count out PlayStation 4, right? Come on, PlayStation, you have to release more games. I bought PlayStation 4 last year. Come on, you cannot do this to me. Now, as I said, there are more games coming and with that, people are speculating what those games can be. People speculate God of War or even Last of Us can be brought to PC. Although, I'm very much sure that those games won't be coming to PC since they are first party titles. And yes, the report did say first party title is coming to PC. I still don't think so Sony will let games from studios such as Naughty Dog and Santa Monica to release it on PC. However, games like Bloodborne seems to be a possibility since there was a leak last year about the very same game. But I bought Days Gone as it was exclusive to PlayStation 4 but now it's coming to PC, that is so unfair. How is that unfair? So you don't want people to experience a game and enjoy the game the same way you did? <laughs> what? It would be completely different if PlayStation would have released the game at the same day to PC saying that it's an exclusive to PlayStation 4. That would be, that would be unfair. But since it's been a long time since Days Gone has came, come out, why not? Why not bring it to PC? Why not let PC players enjoy the game? And do not worry, PlayStation will still have exclusive games. This doesn't mean that PlayStation exclusive games are stopping. No, PlayStation exclusive game will still come out. And after two years or three years, maybe, just a maybe, they will release that game to PC. Sony still cares about its PlayStation gamers, people who have bought PlayStation. They care about them first and then they want to branch out to PC players later. Well, what do you think is going to be the next PlayStation exclusive that will be coming to PC? Let me know in the comments below because I believe it's going to be Bloodborne. What do you think? Let me know all of that in the comments below and also make sure to hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this coming every single week. You don't want to miss that out. 
And again, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, stay awesome and keep on playing games.